Hey, you know the purpose of these doors. Of course, they're entrance for these buildings. No, 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 they are the exit of the urban maze. You're watching Stripping Architecture and let's reimagine the city with out-of-the-box sketches. This, what you see on your left side, is the Stock Exchange building in Brussels. And it will be now repurposed as the Beer Temple building of Brussels. And that's why we decided to sketch it in its proper look. It really looks like a beer temple. And that's what we call the beer temple architecture. This is actually the architecture of how a rich person pretend or try to be humble and want to live in a dense urban area instead of a fancy palace in the suburbs. You know, their intention is to experience the social inclusivity and the multicultural neighborhood. But unfortunately, they end up building a loft which resembles the elite architecture. And we go forward with this tower over here. It's so interesting to see how sometimes a simple vertical structure that this major point is just to establish visual and orientational point with the citizens can turn into a holder of the neighborhood's identity. And that's the case with this bell tower in Brussels, which made us sketch the neighborhood's anchor. Reminds me with the minaret on the seaside. This photo actually presents a ventilation building for a tunnel, which inspired us to sketch a building for a collective use right in the middle of each neighborhood around the city in order to heat and cool down the air temperature in our streets. Where to try? Well, I hope it's worth a try, unless we don't stop with heating our planet. Walking around the famous Barbican in London, the residential brutalist complex, it's very interesting, definitely. But if you dive deeper, you will find a lot of wasted spaces that doesn't really make sense for the everyday user. And that's why we have sketched the over-designed building, which means whenever you try to over-design something, you might end up designing empty spaces. That's why we propose everyone design something to go back a couple of years and visit a place to check the waste spaces and try to be honest and rethink them again. That's something that really is missing in our cities with today's architecture. Centuries ago, architecture used to build giant structures right in front of the working class districts for pure defensive purposes. If you look at it of today's eyes, you start to doubt whether it's a building or a military tank in the shape of a building. However, this is for sure a traumatic architecture. That's true, that's so interesting, like even though in the past it served as a military campus, still up to date it has reflection and traumatic impact over the current citizens. Right, it is traumatic. The subway system and all the spaces in the subway in general contains a lot of heat energy that is often being lost. So we were thinking, what if we can somehow capture this energy, like a place, a warm place for sleeping, or maybe just tiny little cubicles or capsules where we can store this energy in radiators and use them as rechargeable energy for those that need the most of this. And that's why we have sketched and reimagined the energy capsule city. What do you think about it? Well, this is really a great concept because here we are introducing a new game called Urban Escape Maze. In this game, we put you in an urban block and you have to figure out the exit by yourself. And here we try to imagine the street as a detail, but not with the purpose of diminishing its importance. No, we just want to imagine the street as life traces and collection of little tiny pieces that are important for the human relations. We want to encourage you to embrace and to perceive the street as something important for all the citizens and not as a primarily designed infrastructure in two dimensions only for the vehicles. And that's why we have sketched the street as a collection of life traces. Remember again, whenever you pass through a street, it's not about asphalt or tree or curbstone. It's about human beings who use the space. It's a very unique case in architecture, building a justice palace on a former execution site. The decision was made after carrying on thousands of ex executions on this site. They end up having enough souls to erect the Justice Palace on a solid crab souls used as a foundation. Damn, that really sometimes makes you question on what kind of foundations our justice is being built. We have to rethink that.
check your Justice Palace in your city and see the history of it. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a lot of problematic things oh. about them. Some of them, they have maybe graveyards underneath. It's up for you to check. Thank you very much for staying and analyzing the city with out-of-the-box sketches. Stay tuned and we see you in the next episode. Have a nice day. Choo-choo.